Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I'm taking the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm and I'm just going to use that as a primer and I'm just going to apply that all over the face and following that I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Smoothing Primer and this is going to erase any pores and fill in any fine lines giving my foundation a nice smooth canvas. For foundation I'm using the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC in the shade NC25. I have a random pump. This is the 3-in-1 CoverGirl foundation. If you have that, save it because the pump will fit your MAC foundation. I'm just going to apply two pumps and apply that all over the face and this is going to even out my skin tone and erase some blemishes. Following with the Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NC20, I'm just going to apply that on the eyelids and this is going to prep my eyelids for eyeshadows, also going to cover any discoloration and veins that I might have. And I'm also going to apply that underneath the eyes, this is going to cover the dark circles and it's also going to give me a nice highlighted under eye. Once I warm the product out with my fingers, I'm just going to go back in with the damp beauty blender and make sure to blend everything out. And once I do that, I'm just going to take um, the same concealer and balance out the highlight parts and I'm going to apply that on the chin, on the forehead and along the jawline. And following that, I'm just going to blend that out with the damp beauty blender so that there are no harsh lines and everything's blended seamlessly. To set my concealers and foundation, I'm taking the NYC Translucent Powder. I really like this stuff, it's great. I do use it quite a lot and there's so much product in this, it's insane. I'm just going to do the baking method. I'm going to apply this powder on top of all of the areas that I apply my concealer and I'm going to let it sit there for a few minutes. While it sits, I'm going to go ahead with bronzer. I'm using the LA Girls Mineral Press Powder and this is in the shade Toffee. I'm just going to apply that bronzer on the hollows of the cheeks, on the sides of the forehead, on the forehead and on the jawline. As you can see, it is really bronzing me up and I love it. It's great. I love this bronzer. I was bronzed as I can be. Now the powder has sat in my face for long enough, I'm just going to buff it out and blend it away with any clean brush with no additional product on it and make sure to really blend everything out. Now I'm just going to contour my nose, I have an in-depth tutorial and I'll link it down below if you're interested. Picking up my Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics, it is the best eyeshadow palette in the whole wide world. I'm picking up this brown, uh, light brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to pack that on the crease and really blend it in and using windshield like motions and building it up. Now I'm taking this uh, light plum eyeshadow and I'm also going to do the exact same thing as I did with the light brown. But with this eyeshadow I'm just going to focus it on the outer V of the eye creating a nice round effect. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid until I am satisfied. Picking up the deep plum eyeshadow, I'm just going to pack that on the outer V of the eye once more and I'm just going to give that area a lot more depth and this is going to give me that round eye that I'm really looking for. Because I have almond eyes, I'm going to take the dark shimmery brown eyeshadow with the grayish shimmery eyeshadow and I'm going to pack that again just on the outer V and a little bit above the crease just to give me that round eye look that I'm going for because my eyes are almond shaped so I'm just gonna round them up a little bit better. Now picking up this off-white eyeshadow I'm just going to pack that on the brow bone area and this is going to be my highlight and it's also going to clean up the crease a little bit. Taking this beautiful pink metallic gorgeous eyeshadow I'm just going to pack it on the lid all over with my finger first then I will go ahead with my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to wet my brush and this is going to give the eyeshadow a whole different metallic look and it's going to make it stand out even more. It almost makes it look like it's a pigment when it's not. It's just a regular eyeshadow and I'm just going to pack that on top of the lid once more just to brighten up the eye look. Picking up my NYC liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to do a thin line along the lash line and this is going to help me hide the fake lashes band. It's going to make my false lashes blend 
better with my real lashes. Then I'm picking up this Rimmel London uh, retractable nude eyeliner and I'm just going to pop that on the waterline. You guys know a tutorial is not mine if I don't have a nude liner on the waterline. For lashes today I'm using Red Cherry Lashes in this style 102, one of my favorite lashes in the whole wide world. I am obsessed, I love them and while the lash glue dries I'm just going to go back in with a clean brush and blend the harsh lines out because the pigment is now dry or eyeshadow I should say. Now that lash glue is tacky, I'm just going to place my false eyelash as close to the lash line as possible in the center. Then I move on to the outer corner of the lash and I place them in wherever I want it to go. And then I place the inner corner and that is the best technique that works for me when it comes to applying false lashes. Now I'm just going to fly away with my lashes. Bye! <laughs> For blush, I am taking this e.l.f. palette, which is one of my favorite palettes in the whole world. Honestly, the blushes are so pigmented. As you can see, I barely dabbed that brush in that blush because they're so pigmented. Oh my god, I really love them. And the whole quad is only $4. How beautiful is that? Going back in with the two bottom highlights, one is a little bit golden and the other one's a little rosy. I'm just going to mix them together and apply that on my usual areas which are the highest points of the cheeks and I'm also going to pack that on the cupid's bow, on the chin and a little dot on the nose and on the bridge of the nose. Now picking up the corner pink highlight, I'm just going to pack that on the tear duct area just to make it a lot more brighter and open and make me look awake even though I'm tired. <laughs> For lipstick, I'm using Colourpop Cosmetics in MIDI, M-I-D-I, MIDI. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lips and uh, yeah, I'm just going to pick up a MAC Fix Plus to finish up the look. You guys know this is a must for me and uh, spray it all over the face. And that is it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Mwah.